What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to model a wall for one of these traditional wood frame houses. So these are some cool medieval houses, you know, that you have a wooden frame and then in between those uh, wooden beams and columns and just wooden, uh, the whole wooden frame you would put either brick or stone or uh, something like that, even hay filled uh, walls you can do even that, but the point is you have some sort of a wooden frame and then you fill it up with whatever material you have laying around and then you can kind of paint it white and make it look real cool. But anyway, before I get started I would like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because they make the tutorials like this every day and follow me on social media if you don't want to miss any of my tutorials but anyway let's get started here I am in Revit and I'm just going to be using the architectural template for this project as it is a simple project without any uh, construction elements except those beams and columns uh, but those are not that uh, kind of complicated to make but anyway so here we are and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to South Elevation, so let's go over here, and let's change the units. So I'm just going to type in UN and change the units to something like centimeters, so that's a bit easier to work with. And let's change this to something like 300, and then let's create another level, so go here to level or just type LL. And you get this level tool, and then you can place it over here. Let's change this to 600. So we've got some levels to play around with, and then here we're going to be placing that wall. So let's go back into a level 1. And just for the wall, let's create a grid. So everything will be kind of aligned with this grid. I think it's a, a bit easier to work that way. So go here to grid, or again, you can use the shortcut GR. I prefer using shortcuts, so that's why I'm using it. And as you can see now we have one grid and we're going to be creating everything here. So first let's place a wall. So for wall go here for architecture tab, wall or again shortcut WA and let's use this one generic 200 millimeter and just place it kind of like that. Now once we have this generic wall placed over here and as you can see if we select it it's unconnected and like 8 meters which works for us for this project or actually let's Let's attach it to level 3, maybe that will work a bit better. But anyway, so we've got our wall, so we've got our starting point, and now let's add our construction elements, our wood framing. So go back to level 1, and let's add some elements. So the first thing we need to add is a beam. So go to structure, and here you've got beam, or again, shortcut BM and you've got your beam command. Now you can go here to load family because we only have this kind of steel universal beam. So let's go load family and let's find some uh, timber ones. So this is uh, Imperial. So I'm just going to drop back a folder because I like using uh, the metric library. But if you use, uh, uh, if you like using the Imperial units, then go with the Imperial library. But anyway, here I got this structural framing and here we've got wood, timber, open it up, and here you can just search, let's see uh, what dimension we want to use. And let's go with this one, 235 by 235. So as you remember, the wall was 200 millimeters, so this will be just slightly uh, larger, so it will be kind of poking through the wall and it will be visible and very beautiful. So let's just hit OK and let's load it in. And let's just start from here to the end. But before we do that, uh, what we need to do is we need to change the settings uh, to fine for uh, this kind of a detail level. Because if you leave it at coarse, it won't show uh, these beams. And if I zoom in over here, you can't see it right now. Again, you can't see it because first, uh, if it's not uh, on fine. And the second thing, you need to change the VR settings. So type in VR for view range. And for the bottom and for the view depth, I like to change it to unlimited. Hit apply. OK. And now if we zoom in, you can see this is the wall and this is the beam. And if the lines are too thick, either go with thin lines or you can go over here and change the scale to something smaller and then it will be uh, you will see the lines will be thinner but anyway so we've got one beam and let's go into 3D so here it is and now let's copy it up so you can go just here copy and then paste but open up this drop menu go aligned to selected levels select that and then select level 2 and level 3 hit OK and as you can see now it duplicated all of the 
uh, all of the beams up on these levels. Now let's add all of the vertical elements and for that we need to go to level 1 and go to structure column and then select structural column and again as you can see this is some ugly uh, steel column and we only have that one so let's load in uh, timber one now it does said wood but th this is the uh, as you remember we loaded in a beam so if I drop back a folder it will say yeah, structural framing and we don't need that we need structural columns so let's select structural column wood timber column open it up and again search for the same dimension so if I scroll down here it is uh, 235 235 hit OK and I've got my column and for the depth change this to height and uh, let's change from unconnected to level 3 so let's place one I don't know place one over here maybe one kinda over here maybe one here maybe one here and to make these distances equal go to DI for dimension and then you can kinda dimension them and you place the dimension and you hit EQ and now they're equal distances and if we go into 3D this is what that looks like uh, now we need something more okay this looks nice but let's do kind of those angular ones that are kind of the side support that uh, prevent the wall from kind of collapsing on itself so how do you do that well that's another beam you or you can use a slanted column but I prefer using beams for uh, this type of a problem so go to level one and you just go again beam and you go from this column to this column and you go into 3d and as you can see we can select it over here and for the end level offset you just change it from 0 to 300 as that's the height over here and there you go so we've got this column and we can even change the beginning height just so this goes exactly to this center line so let's change the start level offset at maybe 5 yeah I think this looks a bit better now and now you can use these drag points and kinda extend it a bit and do the same thing over here. Now you're probably thinking well now it looks seriously ugly because it's kinda protruding but don't worry we can cope that. So uh, you go to modify and you go to cope and you just select it. So you select first the thing that you want to kinda cut and then what you're cutting it with. And as you can see do that again. There you go. So do the same thing over here. So you select this thing then the column and then this thing and the beam and it's now kind of trimmed to to what you want to have and the same thing here you're probably going to have these beams that are running running lengthwise and the columns are going to go from floor to floor so you select the column then the beam then the uh, column then the beam then the column then the beam and once again over here and you can do that here as well so you do kinda just to make sure that they look really nice and trimmed and that nothing looks out of place and as you can see this looks really nice so maybe we can go to realistic and yeah that that looks fine but let's change the wall uh, let's go to edit type and let's maybe change the the material of the wall so go to edit let's go over here let's choose something white so let's go white gypsum wall board okay we can use that and just hit OK apply okay so the wall is now white but uh, these uh, beams I like them but they're usually kind of darker color so let's try to select let's try to select something like this oops not that let's try these yeah so once you've selected all of these structural uh, framing and column elements you can go here for the structural material and you can actually change it so uh, let's go to wood and let's see what kind of woods uh, rabbit offers us let's try to search for something darker Ooh, oak flooring espresso maybe something like that maybe some walnut yeah this is nice and dark yeah let's do walnut I don't know would you use that for a beam probably not but let's try it out yeah as you can see now it looks a lot nicer it's kinda in the color this would be if this was like a medieval house of some rich merchant but anyway so that's the tutorial how to create these kind of a old school medieval wood frame houses that have uh, kind of these uh, framings uh, wood framing with columns and beams and the rest well I guess you can choose the material depending on what you're trying to do and what you have on hand but anyway that's it for this tutorial thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions make sure to leave them in the comment section 
below. And if you want to have access to all of my Revit project files for all of the Revit projects I've done so far, make sure to check out my Patreon first link in the description. So you go over there and for only $5 a month you can get access to pretty much all of the project files I've done so far and there are some extra benefits now and then. So that's nice. Okay, that's pretty much it for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.